Hello guys and welcome back. Love doesn't discriminate race, beauty or size. Hence, when everyone laughed at Danny Ride for marrying Lexi, he didn't mind, nor he shared their opinion that his wife was fat and ugly. He was simply happy to have married the woman he considered the love of his life. Before he met Lexi, Danny worked for an optical services company. He was responsible for interpreting eye exams and recommending treatments and frames to satisfy clients' needs. The 35-year-old was also very active when he was younger as he played sports and loved to skateboard. But as he got older, all of that stopped in part because of his schedule. This resulted in a significant weight gain. Danny had several relationships, but they never worked out until he met Lexi in 2007. They both knew they were destined to be together shortly after meeting, they easily shared the same values and after several appointments, they started dating. Well that she was very round. That didn't stop Danny from loving her. Lexi had always been overweight and because of that she didn't feel confident, but whenever she was with Danny she felt comfortable, before they met she had tried several times to lose weight, but it never worked. She watched programs like Weight Watchers and L.A. White Loss. But every time she lost weight, she gained it back. She would often skip breakfast, then eat an extra large lunch on the days she did eat breakfast, she would have a sausage, eggs and cheese cookie, potato sticks and a large coke at McDonald's. She worked at a law firm. Her job was to help people get social security disability benefits. The 32-year-old said her job was like a warning sign to her, but she was ignoring it. She added, I would listen to people talk about their diabetes, their heart problems, their neuropathy. I realized that if I didn't take care of myself, I would be the person coming in to talk about her problem. At this point, I had a lot of joint pain and I was having trouble breathing, but I still couldn't discipline myself to do what needed to be done. After getting together with Danny, she gained more weight. The couple spent most evenings on the couch watching movies on Netflix, ordering pizza, drinking soda and eating anything. They consumed a total of about 8,000 calories a day. When Lexi and Danny went to a Chinese restaurant, they would go to the buffet several times, packing the food onto no less than 8 plates. We would just sit and watch TV without taking care of ourselves. But Danny never made me worry about that. He just loved me and never mistreated me, said Lexi. Danny loved his girlfriend and although they always attracted stares when they went out, it didn't stop him from proposing to her. However, planning the wedding was not as easy as he had expected. Lexi weighed over 181 kilos. This made it difficult to find a wedding dress in her size. After dating for eight years, Danny and Lexi were married in October 2015, but not everyone was happy with their union. I posted pictures of our wedding online and got comments from people who supposedly knew what was best for me. It was ridiculous. Most of them told me that Lexi wasn't good enough. To me, that's the problem with people. On the internet, it's strangers who think they know you better than you know yourself, said Danny. Not only did they say Lexi wasn't good enough for him, but some people also made fun of his weight and called him unpleasant. Nevertheless, Danny was in love and the rude and hurtful comments did not deter him. He and his wife focused on becoming parents. They both wanted to have a big family. But Lexi also realized that because of her weight, she would not be able to have children at that time. She weighed 220 kilos while her husband weighed 127 kilos. They decided to do their best to lose weight, but they had not yet started making efforts. They also shared their ordeal with one of their friends who then challenged them to cut out soda, alcohol, takeout and high-calorie foods. But Lexi and Danny didn't start their weight loss program just because of what their friends told them or because they wanted to have children. There were several other reasons they made the decision. Danny said, I had a moment when it clicked. I was out hiking with some friends and I was behind them, they kept looking behind them and saying, this goes back here, I was trying to keep up with them. That moment really stuck in my head. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to change. For Lexi, it was because her weight didn't allow her to do a lot of things easily anymore. 
She couldn't travel as much as she wanted because it was always difficult for her to get on a plane. She couldn't drive a car without her belly touching the steering wheel, and she couldn't put on her shoes and socks without exerting herself. So, on the first day of 2016, Lexi and Danny decided to do whatever it took to get the body they wanted. Although they both knew it was going to be a difficult task, the first few months were much harder than they could have imagined. The early days were not easy when your body is used to doing the same thing over and over again, you become a routine creature. I think it's better to shock your body and do everything differently than to make slow changes, said Danny. The hardest part for them was changing their relationship with food. Day after day, they had to learn to eat to live rather than eat to eat. They also used the pair bonding system to hold each other accountable. Days when Lexi didn't feel like exercising, Danny would encourage her to push herself, and conversely. When they first started working out, Lexi was ashamed to go to the gym, but thanks to Danny, she was able to overcome the complex because she wasn't alone. She said, at 220 kilos. I was probably over the weight limit on the scale. I was also the one who worked the hardest in the room, because I was so determined to change. It was hard. I wasn't fast, but I would manage to do 30 minutes and every time I went back I would challenge myself to beat my time. I got faster and stronger. The couple goes to the gym 5 times a week and works out for 30 minutes each day. Sometimes they work out for longer and other times for less time. Lexi also took Zumba classes and wanted a way to report back, so she created an Instagram account. I thought I would have maybe 10 followers on Instagram. I created it because I didn't want to annoy all my friends on Facebook with my posts, but I was surprised to see that in just a few weeks I had thousands of followers. It made me realize that many people were going through the same problems as us and I think that's why they could relate to our story," she said. In addition, to make sure they met their goal, they looked for ways to make nice, healthy recipes for food they love, they eat protein-rich meals like lean meats, chicken, turkey and salmon, as well as vegetables like Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes and broccoli. They prefer whole grain bread and make pizzas using tortilla instead of stuffed dough, instead of Taco Bell, they make a homemade and healthy taco salad without crust. 18 months after their wedding celebration, Lexi went from 220 kilos to 79 kilos, while Danny, who weighed 127 kilos, lost 43 kilos. After making such progress, Lexi wrote on her Instagram page. We did not have a diet or personal trainer and we did not do surgery. But what we did have was each other and the inner motivation to work hard every day. We may have lost weight, but we became closer to each other. Did she add? The couple has become a source of inspiration for millions of people struggling with overweight around the world. However, Lexi's weight loss was not without some repercussions. His extreme weight loss left him with excess skin on his arms stomach and legs. Nine-hour surgery was required to remove over two kilos of excess skin from her body. Lexi recovered quickly and was released from the hospital less than a week later. She and Danny had the last laugh against all of those who questioned their relationship. And it's only a matter of time before they become parents. What have you learned from this couple's story? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and make Panda happy. Subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming posts. Thanks for watching and see you soon for a complete new video. Love you YouTube family.